everyone. Hello, Philippines. Hello, world. Uh, Again. We're back with uh, Loyola English this time, not Tagalog, because we're with Mark Hartman of Loyola Sparks. We'll focus for this episode with him. Uh, and we'll obviously get Ref to join in later on with the questions. Uh, so, Mark, if I can just ask, how did you get into football? Uh, who did you start with? Obviously, growing up in England, yeah. it's a little different to Ref's story. Well, uh, so growing up in England, I have my older brothers anyway, so I guess yeah. I just followed in their footsteps. So wasn't forced into football, so, but yeah, I just ended up playing football, mm. that's it. And then uh, you, uh, off, off camera was just saying, you started with Southampton, uh, in the youth team, yeah, right, I so went, uh, how did you... I joined Southampton, obviously the academy when I was seven, mm. then I moved to their rivals, Portsmouth, mm. I got a, stick, a lot of stick from that, obviously yeah. I was, lived in Southampton and played with Portsmouth, and then uh, I got my two year scholarship at Swindon, and then after that finished, I uh, come out to the Philippines. So why did you move to the Philippines then from that? Because it's quite a promising, um, a promising setup for for those who don't know. Portsmouth, Southampton uh, are quite helpful. Usually in the Championship or League One in, in England, uh, so they're they're quite good teams. Well, uh, growing up, I, we always used to come out for a holiday vacation, mm. and I thought oh, this is where I want to spend the rest the rest of my life. I want to uh, come out when I was thirteen. Yeah, but uh, mum and dad didn't let me saying you got to finish your school in England and then do your. They wanted to do my scholarship in England football as well. And then after that, I decided I want to come out here because Darren's living out here already. So, mm. um, and now all our family's out here. So, uh, I'm just, no regrets moving out. Awesome. And why the Philippines? Why did you want to decide that you wanted to spend your life here in the so, Philippines? Uh, my mum's a Filipino. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Basically, yeah. Well, we've come holidays and then mm. just England's always cold and yeah. rain and you must know about that <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's the same the it's sun. the same answer so, that, yeah, we would ask, <laughs> that you would give us when we asked you Roy why are you learning Tagalog and <laughs> You know, yeah, uh, England. It's it's a dreary place. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's it's really more fun in the Philippines. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> as much as there's lots of Filipinos try to go abroad in England, it's the other way around. We're like, okay, we want to leave England to to get to the Philippines instead. Uh, so absolutely. Um, and with your football in the Philippines, uh, and with your football in the Philippines, I think you started with Nomads. Yeah, so yeah. Like, right. when I moved out there, Darren was already playing for Nomads. So, yeah. Um, I just went there, just joined, and then mm. helped them win the second division. And then uh, we uh, decided to take football, because oh, that was all just for fun. Yeah. And then decided to uh, take football a bit more serious, and then went on trial, had a game at Moralco, and then, well, they were called Loyola Aguilar at the time. Yeah. And then they offered me to play there, and then it's my second year. So uh, that's how it all started. Excellent. And Bertha, do you have anything to ask about Loyola with, his, uh, with uh, the season gone? Um, no, I just I think mm. we want to ask like mm. how how is it playing internationally? And I know you've played in the Sea Games. What's it like representing the Philippines in in a regional tournament like that? Oh, it's a it's a great honor. Anyone who ever wants to play play for your country, mm -hmm. it's a great achievement. And, uh, proud of be able to play for him. But uh, yeah. It's, because you played in the 2000 and which CD? The one just the last one. The last one. Yeah, 2011. 2011. Okay. 11, was it 10? Uh, 11. Yeah, 2000. Last year. Yeah. Last year. Last year. 2011. Mm. So you you play usually in the mid or? Well, I grew up playing in the midfield and then I moved to the Philippines and played up front. Mm -hmm. What's your more preferred position? In the middle. Mm -hmm. Mid. Central. Yeah, just behind the strike. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Why is that? I don't know, because uh, that's just how I grew up playing football with that position. So. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, interesting question. Since you've had Darren on, who do you think out of the three of uh. you, um, who is the best? Me? <laughs> <laughs> no question. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Darren, your brother actually yeah, well, said you've that. You've got a belief in yourself, so yeah. that's it, me. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, well, we all play different positions, so yeah, you yeah. can't compare. In a 1v1 situation, who would win? You or Darren? Yeah, still me. <laughs> <laughs> He's older, so I've got to let him win, right? <laughs> Thank you. Same uh, answer. Um, and with internationally the Sea Games, I was wondering if you could talk to us a little about that because obviously the whole Sea Games, uh, it didn't really go so well. The overall yeah. tournament, there were a lot of problems, yeah. uh, both um, as a team and with yourself and, and your brother yeah. particularly. Could uh, could we ask you about that? Like what happened? Uh, uh, it was all uh, it was all good. We went to um, 
people. We were, <laughs> no, it was, it was, we were all enjoying it. Everyone, yeah. we went to Japan and uh, we think we won two out of the three games and we drew one and we come back and then we went to see games and there was six new players from the squad that went mm. from um, the tune-up games and that, yeah. so it all changed. And then uh, there was a f little fallout, I guess, you, <laughs> you may say, a little fallout. Don't want to go into details. It's, I'm sure it will come out soon anyway. But And then my brother, I wouldn't say he didn't, didn't leave. He, I'd say he got forced out, I guess. Right. That's the way I put it. He got forced out. And then I supported him 100%. His decision to go there. Uh, um, he had a fallout with the manager, Vice. Fallout, you could. Yeah, I'm sure everyone's heard of it anyway, so um, yeah. yeah, that's all I want to say on it, really. Yeah, uh, with the national team, would you really like to get back into the squad for future tournaments? Being just 20 years old now, you could still go like uh, under 22s and next C games yeah. and the senior squad. You're obviously good enough to get into that senior squad in the end. Do you think you is that something you really want to press hard and work towards? Well, of course, I can only do my bit, which is play well for Morocco, yeah, and then. It's up to them whether they want to pick me or not pick me. Obviously, I'd love to play for the national team again, but if uh, if the manager thinks that I'm not the right player for the team, uh, mm. just have to carry on working hard. And last question before we throw it over to Ref. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, is uh, how, how do you think next season will go? Are you looking to stay with Loyola or move on? What's what's your decision with uh, with the UFL? I'm staying in UFL. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with Morocco. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so, so Ref, um, could you tell us more about Mark? What what should fans know about Mark? What should fans know about uh, him behind the scenes? Uh, what, what's the chismis? Chismis. No, 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 there's chismis. no chismis. Um, uh, being with Mark, uh, not barely know him, but because every every training inside and out, uh, there's events. We always see each other. Mm. We're in good terms as well as other players. Well, in the team, there's always differences. Uh, there's always differences. Um, you cannot, you know, yeah. you cannot avoid those things. You just have to be professional enough to go with the flow. At the same time, um, the fans doesn't know that about Mark is with this big guy. He has a small water bottle. <laughs> <laughs> and Liz owns it. The water bottle. I, I know. A water, water bottle. bottle. What uh, is there a spot uh, that nice. belongs to? No name mentioning. No name yeah. mentioning. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I don't. Face the people at home. Uh, yeah. Mark's <laughs> girlfriend is uh, there, right in the back. No, no, no. Stop, stop. stop. <laughs> No, no, I mean, but despite uh, that, could you please expand on that? Tell us what's no. uh, what the, what the story. We, uh, no, no, I, <laughs> I always mention him. I always uh, mention when we go water break. It always amazes me because we have the same, you know, water bottle, and then his water bottle is cute. <laughs> it's cute. It's cute. So you've got a bigger water bottle than Mark. No, I, yes, I, have, a, I have a glass. Let's right. Wait, yeah. Are we still talking about water bottles? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Let's go. Let's get back to. <laughs> Please, because we, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, can I just share that, you know, I, I actually thought going into this episode that Mark was a lot older than 20. And this sort of... I, I didn't... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Girlfriend's there and you're trying to... No, I, I mean... I, <laughs> <laughs> you better be careful there. Uh, I'm British, man. <laughs> better be careful there. No, but as someone... I mean, I've also played in the national team and... I play in the similar position that you're playing, like right behind the striker. Yeah. And as much as you're awesome with dead ball situations, as your girlfriend mentioned, <laughs> <laughs> she said that you play like David Beckham and she appreciates your awesome corner kicks. I have a couple of notes that I'm sure because you are also not insensitive, you would be willing to like hear out. Like, I just noticed because we watch a lot, of, a lot of the UFL games mm. for for work, right? And yeah, since you accused me of, you know, checking you out, which <laughs> was <laughs> you you me. Oh, I'm taking that one personally. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Pardon? Were you? No, he. Oh, <laughs> no, I. Me? Excuse me. No, no. Is it no, here? like. Is it here? No, no. Uh, <laughs> we left the right side. You know, I noticed that you get. Um, you're not so consistent with your work rate. 
which is a bit like you know as a as a midfielder you're expected to um keep on running yeah, yeah. and as someone who is how tall are you six foot how six heavy are you heavy <laughs> like, sometimes you go into 50 50 situations and i'm like whoa you are so much you know bigger than your opponent and you can actually win it and it's just like mind-boggling that it it doesn't happen all the time with like smaller opponents but you know like you really see that you hustle but there's sometimes that i'm like wow there's so much you know potential and i'm sure you know you can get it well, uh, yeah, 100%. Well, when I was when I was younger, my um, like did you get injured at the at a young age? That's why. No, you're... When I was when I was younger, I was uh, when, I, when I was younger, my attitude on the pitch wasn't the best. Mm -hmm. So any tackle, I'd go in for it, mm -hmm. and uh, clean tackles, fair tackles. But as I moved to the Philippines, when I started Nomads, if you put a hard tackle in, you're going to get booked. Mm -hmm. So uh, I can see where you're coming from. But I just have to. You got to look out for. I got to look out for myself and other players. Yeah. Just, uh, mm. Maybe a little bit smaller. Yeah, but and as you mentioned, smaller. dead ball situations uh, with your free kicks. Because you scored kicks. a lot. Yeah. How many free kicks have you scored this season? Because we've seen quite a few on the highlights. Four, Ten. four, five. And it does seem like you you hit the post a lot in the Singapore Cup. Yeah. You hit the post. You hit the wall work quite a lot with the free kicks as well. It's very close. I'd be willing to bet that you may have hit the post out of more than out of any other player. Yeah. Why do you think that is? I mean, you obviously score a lot and contribute a lot with that. But I think what it is, I just I try to make it too accurate. So you're okay. thinking, no, oh, I'm going to get this in the top corner. Yeah. It looks good, man. But no, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, free kick, you got to go for it 100. Yeah. percent If you're if you're not if you're going to think, oh, am I going to score? Am I not going to score? Mm. So yeah, just go into it positive, and then um, if you hit the bar, you hit the bar. Yeah. If it goes in, it goes in. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thanks very much for joining us again. We'll talk more about Loyola um, later on with the, the whole team because you've obviously had a, a really good season and in Singapore as well. Uh, so thanks for joining us. And uh, to follow more uh, about us, to hear more about Mark Hartman, Ref Charisma, Loyola and football in the Philippines, follow us at, at FTW Sports.